So our last poem of the night is um, called Downpour, and Harold is also going to play with Andrew in this piece. And uh, this is a poem about gratitude, and this is a poem that Andrew wrote specifically about his gratitude in his life, but it is a gratitude that I think extends to all of us here, being together, being at this conference, feeling our love, feeling our connection, feeling the, the great goodness of getting to, to, to steep in one another's best selves. And uh, so we want to end this note, uh, this evening, on, on this note of the, the great downpouring of gratitude and generosity that is with us uh, at every moment, if we but care to listen or see. Downpour. These days, gratitude comes over me in waves like surrender. As I watch my electric son speak his speak in his gentle rasp, just for this moment, Lord, or whoever I'm starting to believe in now that, I've been, now that he's been with me five years, and for my daughter, too, a decade of precious and eight and watching the lines of her face as she reads and plays, she and her friends, a gaggle, an ecstasy of arms and legs and loose limbs and laughter. And I feel that being grateful is weak sometimes, like settling, like saying, this, this is all I'm content with, this, this celebration. And my, my wife and her curves and her long neck, too, and her sometimes wicked smile, and her gentle laughs, and her sighs. And then, grateful as a torrent, ocean, I'd be pleased to drown in, in a chaos of rippling current this way and that, a wild washing machine, a swirling eddies, an overwhelm, overbear, overbearance, forbearance, and grief, and my mother, and her holding of all the dead people she has ushered over the threshold with grace and poise and wisdom, her sister, her father, her mother, Star, and Vicky, and Ian, and others who may come next, and my father, my odd, brilliant, sometimes father, scared of his own mystery and his enduring love for her and all of us like a knife, and my sister, too, and all her turbulence, a leaky boat, tempest-tossed, and her like an Ahab who doesn't know her ship can fly. And then, like streamers, out and out to friends and children and safety and miracles and standing in the teeth of a gale of good fortune. And it hits me again like whoosh goes health and the sky opens and rains down acceptance and abundance and sensuality and sex and music and walking, walking, just walking and feeling my feet and my fingertips and deep down into the earth. And someday, someday, I say to that ground, someday, but not now. Thank you, Harold.